Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the A6E Tramp, a currently Tier 7 10.0 BR Premium Strike aircraft for the US Air Tech Tree. This vehicle currently comes in a pack that includes the A6E Tram, 20 days of premium time, and 2,500 Golden Eagles, all for the current price of $69.99 USD. That said, in this video, I'll be going over everything that you need to know about this plane, including its stats, how it plays, I'll give some strengths and weaknesses, I'll go over some scores in several key areas, and then I'll give my final recommendation on if I feel this vehicle is worth purchasing or not. That said, if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing subscribing, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now as always, I'll place its stats here on the side of the screen. Important things to know are its BR, the fact that it has up to 4 A9Ls at this BR, and its top speed. Now for how it plays. While the A6E itself is not very important, what I mean by this is that it is essentially a missile bus. The whole point of this vehicle, in Air RB at least, is to carry at least two AIM-9Ls, though many people carry four, into battle and score hits with a majority of said sidewinders. The performance of this plane is unremarkable, being that it is subsonic and lacks afterburners. Curiously, it flies like an Su-25K but with slightly better engines and an airframe capable of handling over over 1,000 kilometers per hour. Ultimately though, being that A9Ls are all aspect, you can pretty much get to within around 3 kilometers of any enemy, fire them, and then score a hit. It is extremely easy with this plane. Personally, I like to carry 3 A9Ls and a 20mm gun pod, occasionally carrying 3 1,000 pound bombs underneath. This is so that I can more or less cover all of my bases and score points in every single way possible. Being that you won't always get hits with your sidewinders and as such, you may need to rely on a cannon, which the A6E does not have standard. This also helps to take out ground targets in Air RB for free RP and SL. Regardless, the A6E Tram Intruder is a slow, somewhat agile strike aircraft that should forego usage of bombs almost entirely in Air RB in favor of either total AIM-9L usage or a mix of AIM-9Ls and cannons. With this, you can easily score two or three kills per match. How you play does not matter. You just need to stay somewhat low to the ground, having around 1,000 kilometers per hour of speed before the first engagement, and then pick out your enemies. I wish it were more difficult, but it really isn't. In Air RB, this is a missile bus, plain and simple, and can be devastating in that role. Even at 10.3 BR, which I could easily see this plane going to, it should still be just as good. Now for close air support, it shouldn't be a surprise that the A6E is also excellent, being that it was designed as a strike aircraft first and foremost. In this role, it can carry quite literally many tons of ordnance, from up to 28 500 pound dumb bombs, all the way up through 40 Zuni rockets, 190 Mighty Mouse rockets, or a selection of laser guided bombs, of which use the excellent tram targeting system to guide them to their targets. In short, you can select up to 9 277 kilogram laser guided bombs, 5 500 kilogram bombs, or 5 1000 kilogram laser guided bombs, and of course, have them hit your target with ease. Because the tram targeting system is built into the A6E itself, it does not take the spot of a hard point. Additionally, it has the capability to track well behind where the A6E is flying, so you can drop a bomb, fly over, and still have it track. Unfortunately, it lacks the ability to carry ATGMs, at least currently, as it had the ability to carry Mavericks and many more types of ATGMs and other sort of missiles in real life. Aside from this, it is fairly normal in the close air support role, albeit that it has a substantially larger ordnance package than most planes can carry. Now with that said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses. For its strengths, it has access to up to 4 A9L all-aspect missiles, which are absolutely devastating, especially at this BR. For its second strength, it has extremely customizable loadouts for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. For its third strength, it has the powerful tram targeting system that tracks even behind the A6E and does not use a hardpoint. For its fourth strength, it is fairly maneuverable despite its slow speed and fairly large size. For its fifth strength, it has ballistic computers for both bombs and rockets. Beyond this, it can carry an absolutely gigantic amount of ordnance, including again up to 28 500 pound bombs, nearly 200 Mighty Mouse rockets, or 5 1000 kilogram laser guided bombs with a whole bunch of other types of ordnance in between. For its seventh strength, it has 60 countermeasures, which is largely sufficient at or around this BR, with the ability to, believe it or not, carry up to about 1000 more in its underwing pods. Beyond this, it has two two pilots, which makes it 
it more resilient to pilot sniping compared to most planes. For its ninth strength, like many American strike fighters, the A6E tram is fairly durable, and as such, can take a surprising amount of damage before it being taken out of battle. And finally, it has premium RP and SL bonuses. Now for its weaknesses, it is subsonic. For reference, its performance is fairly similar to that of the Su-25, although it does have a noticeably better top speed and very slightly better acceleration. Overall though, they are very similar in terms of how they handle. For its second weakness, the A6E is a fairly large target which, when combined with its comparatively low speed, makes it an easy thing to hit. For its third weakness, the A6E tram lacks a standard armament of any kind, meaning that it has no offensive weapons outside of the missiles or gun pods that it carries. And finally, though it's not a major issue, wing rip can be a concern at speed and with higher G maneuvers. Now with all that said for how I score this plane, for dogfighting in Air RB, I give it a 7.75 out of 10. This score is 100% entirely because it has access to AIM-9Ls. The plane itself, while not A-10 Thunderbolt slow, is still slow compared to most enemies at this BR. If it came equipped with AIM-9Gs at very best, the A6E would likely be a 9.3 BR or so plane, and that's not even factoring that it lacks any standard offensive armament. It is not very good as a plane, but just good enough to be able to consistently get you into position to fire some of the most devastating air-to-air -air missiles currently in War Thunder, the AIM-9Ls. Additionally, you can carry a 20mm gun pod in lieu of an AIM-9L if you're looking for versatility. In fact, my standard loadout is three AIM-9Ls and one gun pod because I have found extremely positive results from doing so. Now with that said, for close air support, I give the A6E tram a 7 out of 10. Of course, being that this is a strike fighter, it was built to focus on ground strike. In this regard, the tram intruder is still excellent and can carry a huge amount of ordnance to dispatch of enemies in whatever way you want, be it with precision guided strikes or unguided ordnance. With its absolutely massive inventory of bombs and rockets, as well as its ballistic computers, you can get close and ugly to your enemies, attacking them with precision from low down or if you'd like, you can use laser guided bombs from an altitude to dispatch of enemies with accuracy, using the remarkably good tram targeting system in doing so. Whichever you choose, this plane is a winner. Unfortunately, like I said before, and this also counts against it big time in Air RB, but it does have its very slow speed being subsonic, and as such, you have to deduct points in close air support as well, being that it will make you substantially easier to get shot down by enemy ground fire. Now, with all that said, overall, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. The A6E Tram Intruder is a weird plane because by itself, it sucks. But because of the ordinance that it carries, it can dominate in any game mode. This is a trend in War Thunder, with planes like the A-10 and even the Su-25 being dominant due to their ordnance, in spite of otherwise mediocre aircraft performance, at least versus other aircraft. As such, with the A-6E being able to carry up to four AIM-9Ls, or gun pods if you chose choose, it can dominate Air RB with ease, consistently scoring at or near the top of a match. In Ground RB, it's much the same, except that it can hit with either precision or brute force and be equally successful both ways. This plane uses technology, not performance, to beat the enemy, and it does that very well. So, should you purchase the A6E Tram? I'll be honest, I am incredibly surprised by how much I like this plane. While I personally prefer a plane like the Su-25K if we're going subsonic, due to its better cannon setup, I still feel that the missile-based A6E Tram is fantastic, again, entirely due to its AIM-9Ls and will likely be better for more players than what you see in the Su-25K. Even if it does see a BR increase to 10.3 BR, which is a real possibility, I could still see it performing just as well as it does now. As such, yes, I recommend this plane. It's a tough sell at $70, but if you're looking to spend $70 on this game through a premium vehicle pack anyways, then the A6E Tram is a fine choice and probably, at least at this point, is the way to go. With that said though, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below, as well as what you think of the A6E Tram. Also, if you'd like, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel, as both actions help my channel tremendously. Either way, thanks again. Again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.